All right, everybody, welcome back. One last time today for the Route of 32 showcase. I'm joined by Half Slashed and Legless. What's up, dudes? What's up, hey. Azer? I'm gaming. I'm actually not gaming. I, I have talked a lot over the weekends, but I'm glad that we have three people here to cover this uh, glorious pool. Oh yeah. man, I, I, I'm gonna have to just hit you with that the first time gif for that one. Like, <laughs> I think Azer's really feeling that one too. So, uh -huh. I've been I've been here for a bit. <laughs> he has been here when the when you are here. So, uh, in previous course, Ace Round of Thirty Two was the first pool. So now. This being the second pool, we have like to consider like scaling with like the previous pool now that exists. Like, was there anything weird about that that you want to talk about? Maybe half slash before we get into it. Uh, nothing too crazy, right? It's a pretty standard step up. Um, there's no like big spike or anything. Some of the um star ratings do get a bit funny in certain categories, but uh, I'll kind of explain why that is for. Um, when we get to those picks, so rest but, assured that uh, this pool will be in line with what you will be expecting. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I'm just hoping. So I, I think we achieved something really good. Not to like pat ourselves on the bat, uh, the back too much, but like no, no one's talked about anything for the round of 64 pool, which is pretty cool because usually there's always like one or two people complaining or whatever. Uh, it. It appears, at least to us, that people were really satisfied with the last pool. Yeah, with with the whole 64 teams playing, that's more than 200 players. And like no, none of them really bothered to complain in the discussion channel, so I guess that's a good sign. Yeah. No comment. I'm not I'm not saying I'm not saying shit. I'm not jinxing anything <laughs> like every 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 like every edifice is crossed right now. Like, oh, my God. Anyways, I think just to refresh before we uh, before we get into the showcase, I think we should say that um, the pool structure for this round is the exact same as last round. Six no mods, three each of hidden hard rock, four DTs, three free mods, and a tiebreaker. Um, the match structure will also be the same. It's just going to be one set of a best of nine, I believe. So, um, yeah. Anything else you guys want to say? I think we're pretty uh, good to go. Yep, yeah. like, let's talk about some maps. All right. Let's get started with the Nomad 1. Uh, wow. It's not a Doko map, even though it's called Doko. It's Funny. Now it's Mori. Koko wa Doko. And it's Nomad 1. Wow, dude. Anime. Who would have thought? Hey, look. This is where, this is where it goes, right? So, um... This is, uh, it's a Nomad 1, right? Comfy jumps, uh, slightly higher star rating than last round. This one has, uh, higher on the CS, uh, 4.2 versus the 3.8 from last round. But overall, uh, nothing too crazy. Um, there's just jumps. Yeah, honestly, it, it's, it, in a lot of ways, it just feels like a really, like, slightly augmented version of the previous one. It's just slightly higher BPM, slightly big, uh, sm slightly smaller CS, you know, <laughs> that kind of stuff. But I think style-wise, it's very similar. So, I will say, though, there are more zigzag jumps in this map than the last one. Um, That's true. So, the last one has more triangle, circular flow sort of stuff. This one has a bit more zi like zigzagging, so it does take slightly more focus. Um, especially since they're not NC'd like the one twos normally are. Uh, so, I mean, that might be a little off for some people, but that's just getting really, really nit nitpicking in the uh, technical differences between the two maps here. This is Dude. very standard. So. You think you think a PP farmer will tell the difference? Uh, yeah. yes. Really? Follow points. Follow point aesthetic. Oh. True. Oh, those are things. Wait, yeah. I, don't, I thought PP farmers didn't even care about that. I, dude, I don't know. You, you probably know them better than I do at this point. True. Oh, also, shoutouts to Nissan getting a 1x100 play. No SS this time, unfortunately. That's when you know it's a little bit harder. A couple 1-3s thrown in here. 
It's a little guitar solo. Did he hit the 100 yet? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I really like was not paying attention to the map. <laughs> are they even showing? I don't even know if they're showing on the replay. I think they are. They were last week. It's okay. Uh, I personally, I, I appreciate the sacrifice uh, of No Mod One music. It's not not my type of thing, but we needed to have we need to have it somewhere in the pool. So have, having the the anime stuff in No Mod One, where no one will complain that it's there, allows us to have better song choices everywhere else in the pool. Thank you, No Mod One players. Oh, so okay. true. Honestly, I'm getting hyped for this next one too. And I, I, oof. You know, out of everything, out of everything that he's made, like. We should we should get Camellia to make a a, a a one two one two song that isn't flying out <laughs> to the sky. That's like the only one. I swear to God. Actually, he has a couple, but they're just not mapped by people because nobody knows about those songs. I'm sure you could look around some other stuff, maybe. Yeah, saying, like his Miku shit. Yeah. There are no mod oneable Diaoyi Zong songs. So true that is a thing. That is so weird. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was the slider at the end. <laughs> that's oh. where it was. Are you serious? Are you... <laughs> that is, that's so Bless sad, me, actually. You didn't even <laughs> say anything about that. I'd be fuming, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. That's a match you. ender right there. Like, just imagine just like one one hundred deciding it in match. Never could never happen. No way. Hey, I mean. Qualifiers had that troll ending. This one has too. Yup. All right, let's now move on to Nomad Two. It is a map by Kisata, song by Citrus and Siura, and this has some German name. I will completely mess up. Uh, uh, Weiss Schwarz. Yeah. Weiss Schwarz. I don't know. I don't know how to speak German. As good either. as I would say it. So. This is um, this is similar in vein to the uh, Nomad 2 from last week, although there is more stamina involved, right? So you have pretty much the same length of streams. Um, it's just they go on for longer, right? I think we get up to 64 notes here, where last week we got up to 32. Even though the and the BPM is also six higher, so it's 191 BPM. There is. Slight, um, there's like slight control in that there's a couple doubles and like even streams, but for the most part, um, I don't think anyone will actually struggle with this. Uh, if you've played stream maps, you shouldn't have any issues here. So, man, I actually haven't heard of this map for Kisata. Is he a name change or that is a Paffy? Sada yeah, yep, a Paffy. Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, okay, a Paffy's really good. Damn, also, um, Gamer. Man, this song. This song has so many references to rhythm game songs, it's actually not even funny. Like I heard I heard May, I heard Almagest, I heard like remnants of all of those tracks in this song. That's always nice. It's also worth noting, by the way, this is a featured artist song. I think it's a collab between two featured artists. Actually. Yeah. So I mean, Citrus and Seo are like the new age, new age rhythm game artists that are like, you know, inspired by a lot of the old guards, so it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So the ending, in, ending by the way, is, should be pretty free for most people. I will say that. That's a factor of the song. Because otherwise, hey, one third death stream at the end, right? No, there's no one third death stream. Don't worry. Just. Yeah, but uh, 191 BPM. I bet Fiery is going to be mad. Sonoma 2. No said. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, so uh, the next thing is we have Nomad 3. Uh, it's our tech slot. Uh, this one is a Psyche song. Um, Azer, will you take this one away? Sure thing. So Nomad 3 is going to be a map by Woey. Education. Everybody knows education. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is such a popular track. Oh my god. Psyche is it so is. popular. It's a complete banger. Uh, it's also Woi's first map for Cortez. New mappers, Pog. Dude, this map is actually, like, in my opinion, probably the most interesting one in the pool. Just because there's a lot of really interesting thing Woi does that makes it not your typical tech map. 
that slider, by the way, you will miss on it. Make make sure you, you remember that slider is there. Hey, hey, wait, experience. no, no, we changed that. Uh, no, did we? Well, not yeah, for the replay. Not, <laughs> it's not unrankable anymore. It used to oh, be a sliderator, okay. so oh, just like basically the slider nodes went back and forth in a way that it was kind of like a hold that suddenly accelerated. Um, so that has been <laughs> removed. So there's the lore for this one. Yeah. Nice to have more uh, more things like that. It's, people can be very creative with those uh, those mapping tools. I don't know. I I just really like how Woey like uses this repetitive rhythm really well. I don't really know like how to explain it, but it just seems like a really varied map, even though the rhythm stays really static a lot of the time. Yeah, it was. Uh... So this is actually really easy sight read because of that. The rhythm is just really consistent and like that one thing that's really nice about uh, good players who end up mapping is that they have that shit down. Like there's a lot of mappers who will do a, maybe like a logical rhythm, but that doesn't necessarily play well. Well, he already knows this play well, this plays well. So like this map just feels really good to play as a result of that, in my opinion. Yeah, he, he also did a really, really good job at designing the aesthetics of this map. As well, we get into a more bursty part because the song uh, adds a couple more kicks. Coming into the last part of it. This is a cut version of the song as well. Um, we're not going to map the entire track. <laughs> nah, actually, that was a that was a choice um, because the last part is kind of repeat of the earlier part. And it's just like it is it just wouldn't add much. So, yeah, there you go. that's the song. Whatever songs are repetitive. Who cares? It's a good length. Yep, good length. I think uh, I'm always going to prefer shorter stuff. It's easier to fit in your ideas when it's like two minutes instead of like four and a half, you know? Yeah, it sticks uh, out yeah. more. I agree. I think it also just like makes each moment in that song like stand out way more. It's like if you mess up a part or something, well, like it'll matter now, whereas... If if this were the three minute version, then you know, like maybe you could come back or whatever. Like it just makes everything matter. I think it's it's neat. True that. Oh, actually though, this next map is is actually it's actually screw what I said about this <laughs> Nomad three being the most interesting. I actually really like the Nomad four as well. So All right. yeah. Well, yeah, why don't you talk about this one, like Liss? Okay. I know you've been you couldn't stop oh, earlier, so you dude. may as well continue. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have great song choice coming in for No One for uh, Dependence Intention by Electrocutica. I'm not entirely sure if there's already a ranked map of this in Standard, but I know there is in Tycho. Like, whatever. Um, I know Vinxus really loves Electrocutica, and I believe everybody deserves to listen to more Electrocutica. Now, this is a really cool alt map because um, this is an irregular time signature. So there's there's this co there's the constant one four rhythm that's happening. But the song itself is actually in a 9-8 time signature. Yeah, which is really, really messed up. And later on, it goes into 7-8 as well. So it's not your typical 4-4 four, four beat. So a lot of people might get confused by that. But all you got to do is keep tapping. Pretty low BPM, too, for, for like an alt pick. Yeah, it's definitely on the low side. Um, I believe it's actually lower than last week's, but it more than makes up for it with just kind of how whack it is. Um, you know, there's a lot of there's like a lot of longer uh, note chains in this one. It's going up to like nine notes. Uh, frequently, like the shortest thing you see is like five notes. Um, big difference compared to last week's, which was mostly based on triples with occasional like quints and such. This one is, you know, it's just like you've got you got some chains, so. One threes as well. Yeah, I just love the rhythm of this so much. The hit sounding is also awesome. It's always nice to have this type of song as well because a lot of people in, uh, like a lot of us players, will associate rhythm complexity with like denser things. Like, oh, this has one six or whatever. That's rhythm complexity. No, this song is just like conceptually uh, complex and, and it's time signatures that keep changing all over the place. So it's like when you play, you don't really notice it. But if you like pay attention to the music, like it's pretty obvious that like something is uncommon. Yeah, this part's seven eight. Gosh. Although <laughs> in the editor, he actually mapped this with just a four four time signature, which is really funny to me because like 
I, I mean, Azer said this in chat earlier, but it's like, it just doesn't matter in standard. Yeah, time signature does not affect gameplay in any single way. Whereas in every other game, well, I don't know about Cash, Cash isn't really a game mode, but like in Taiko and Mania at least, um, there's like a visible bar every new every new line so like those time signatures actually kind of matter in that game in standard there's no reason to care about them <laughs> dude playing this with nightcore would be the most confusing experience in the entire world yeah i was about to say it's like all the all my nightcore players in the chat are fuming right now i can't oh. believe you just said oh, time two of them in the, world. <laughs> the oh, finishes well. are in the wrong place Azer. <laughs> they play nightcore do you think they, they know the, the, the song really sort of picks up now. You got big snaps, you got 1 6 streams, you got these back and forths and buzz sliders everywhere. Yeah, this is not a cake. This is not a walk in the park. No, no, it, re it really isn't. So, BPM lower does not equal easier. That is uh, that is a good takeaway for just um, life. Yeah, life. <laughs> <that's the Batman. laughs> Take it slow, guys. Take it slow. Be good to yourself. Oh man! And that's the map. Although the the full song is a lot longer, I think. That's still so. That is still three forty six. It's pretty yeah. lengthy. It's just it's kind of slow, so you don't really feel like it's that long. Long no longest no mod actually. Yep. But yeah, I love Electrocutica. I agree with that. That map was fairly, uh, fairly interesting for, for Nomad Far. It didn't have any of like, you know, maybe pe some people are not a fan of like the, the, the new alternating or whatever, like the, the weird spacing stuff. Like this is just, this is just an alt map, you know, <laughs> like there's Thanks, like Mr. anything too wacky about it. It's pretty, it's pretty standard, but the song itself makes it stand out a little bit that way. I, I think it's going to be interesting. Oh boy. Yep. Okay. So it is time now. For the speed pick, uh, many players might be familiar with this one. Let's get right into it. It's going to be Nomad 5 by Isomir D'Angelo. Nano Death. Yep. Track y'all have heard before. <laughs> Absolutely, certainly. Is oh, yeah. Like no, one? I don't think so. Until now? Uh, Wait, yeah, yeah probably not. So, uh, a little bit about this one. So, uh... I think uh, I think the last showcase I said uh, something like this week's Nomad 5 is the only mashable Nomad 5. Um, if you're looking at this one, you are kind of seeing why. So we stepped up the BPM. We're now at 240 BPM. It is very heavy on control. We have lots of triples and quints into like single chains. So that is going to require you to actually be able to tap. Um, so you can't just mash through the long bursts and hope you're okay. So, Guys. What yeah, about no match what about people who can't tap? Uh, they shouldn't be playing Nomad Five. That's that's basically it, right? And I don't think a speed player would have it any other way. So, Damn. if you are if you can play 240 BPM, you can play this map. And if your opponents can't play 240 BPM, they cannot play this map. I really that simple. Good. There's also not very much aim requirements. So, yeah, have fun. Good map. Not significantly higher SR than last week's speed pick, actually. I think last week's was inflated by some of the aim. Well, this and just like generally not having any harder speed patterns. But this one has some of those harder speed patterns, just with lower, like just generally short bursts. So I feel like in most cases for maps like these, what dictates the star rating is always the aim, not the speed. Unfortunately. Yeah, I agree. So. Where are these anime samples from? Like seriously, where did where did Lee find this crap? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't Dude, there's a lot of anime, and that's all I'm gonna say. I don't really want to um, say any more on that. There's a lot of anime. Damn, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. I, uh... Just uh, just one last nomad to go now. Uh. It's also going to stand out a little bit. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty unique. It's. It's not too fucked. We're not on the fucked Nomad Six stages yet. Let's get right into it. It's a map by none other than Vinxis. No uh, wait, Omar. Imomomo. 
This this is a banger. This is such a banger. This is a BMS track, isn't it? Oh yeah. There is no way this isn't. Haha, <laughs> emojis. Yeah, you can tell we have a right video. <laughs> Rass a very very good artist though. Pretty much just a BMS artist, but I've seen him on like some collab albums in a couple times. Yeah, this map is pretty much just going to be all about your 1-6 burst with your snappy aim. Uh, there isn't much more that's complicated than that. It's just that there is so much of that. It's fairly technical to play. It never really stops. So you got to get your rhythm on point. It does have that element of being alt, though, because of the BPM. It does, you know, you, you need to have alt skill to be able to hit some of those regular 1-4 patterns, though. We also got quite a few stacks back and forth, so um, and some of the control on these required for these one six is actually kind of high because you have like one six into one four, so it is um it is going to be harder on your finger control. Very different um from last week's Nomad Six, which was more about oh he, here's a low AR map, but it's weird. This is you know not a low AR map, but it's just like somewhat dense and it's got a lot going on, so. I love that Omar bothered to add the video for this map. Pretty good. It's very As if anyone's gonna play with that in match. For the showcase, bro, come on. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, for most of the people playing in the tournament, I think the only way they, they'd find out this has a video is, is in this showcase. That's <laughs> fair. They would never find out in-game. Yeah. What a good, uh, what a good track. Yeah, last section ends up being a lot more aim control heavy, but not really as much rhythm density, so um, there's that. Yeah, it's also worth noting the CS looks pretty high on this, but it felt very natural to play. Uh, it's 4.5, right? Yeah, there isn't. A, there's a lot of snappy aim, but it's all just like in the right places to the point where you don't really notice that it's hard to aim at all. Yeah, but you need to be able to hit those one sixes and control it. Which is uh, pretty difficult for some people. Yeah, and I don't think there's any like reading element in this either. Like the AR is very comfortable. It's purely just hitting those bursts and and being able to time them well, like inside of other patterns and stuff like that. Pretty good. That's the guy who did the replay. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, <laughs> what do you want? What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying because I had a really hard time playing that. Maybe mostly because I'm washed, but you know, yeah. I mean, I am too. Anyway, moving on, let's get into the hiddens now. Uh, the uncomfortable aim, awkward aim, it's LMT with a very LMT song, Dawn Within by Miraf. Uh, this is this is pretty cool. Yeah, this is not just awkward aim, as you can probably tell. <laughs> There's a lot of pretty wonky sliders, but like none of them have slider ticks or anything. Uh, again, same thing as last uh, last map. Like, looks weird, but it's very comfortable to play. It makes the map very unique. This isn't like uh, jump spammy stuff, you know. It's just like it's not like non-stop like 200 BPM Elvis jumps all over the place. This is definitely a little more intuitive than that. But damn, does this map look look fun? I mean, it is fun. Yeah. Can we talk about how LMT made a hard tech map on Tunisian metal, though? Like, this guy, like, what? <laughs> like, can you come up with it? Like, I, I asked, I, I was like, oh, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. And he, he's like, oh, I got the song for this. Like, how? I, 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 I don't get it, man. Marath is Tunisian? It. Yes. Now that's based. That is really based. Why do they sing in English, though? I thought Tunisian spoke French. I look. I don't know, man. I think maybe LMT's got an answer for you on that. I, I don't know. <laughs> True. I'll become in a fact, fan. In fact, LMT's the one that told me it was Tunisian, so I'm just like I'm going with him on this one. So. Yeah, some artists end up being from places you don't expect, especially when they're just, when you have a song in Osu and it's not from Japan. Like what? That's that's already a surprise. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think the bulk of the difficulty of this is just going to be in not getting any slider breaks. A lot of the sliders are just angled in a way that, like, especially during the, the chaos times, you can probably tell, like, it, it doesn't look super comfortable to play. That's because it isn't. 
uh, by design. There's a little bit of a a rhythm as well, as you can see. There were a couple uh, one threes uh, in there as well, as well as those bursts sometimes being quite uh, oddly spaced. Nice pyramid. Thank you. Wait, these, this is the pyramids are in Egypt. That's not Tunisia, dude. Dude. Please, the background is epic. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Illuminati. Of course it's Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, it's basically the map. It's like... It's like a tech map, just not on a song you'd ever expect it on. Well, this is so different from Wowie's map, so it's, it's honestly really cool to have in the pool. It's a good contrast just because this one focuses more on slider aim than uh, Woeys, which is Woeys is like more of a rhythm type tech map with like occasional cut streams and such. This one is oh. like, just, yeah. Oh yeah, there's a miss. No way, dude. I think that's the first miss we've ever seen in a showcase. I can't believe you do this to us, Alex. Oh, there's going to be a couple more. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Damn. Yeah, it's okay. We get we only get more as uh, the weeks go on. Gosh, these slides are so cool to look I at. I say that, but now looking at it, I guess spoiler alert, I have the only misses in the showcase. But no one like no one beat my scores. <laughs> that, what's that all about? <laughs> Dude, I'm, you're just... I'm just playing the hardest maps, clearly. <laughs> hmm. Anyways. Oh, yeah, so that's a that's a pretty unique pick. I think usually a hidden one people would ex expect like some like Dallas Mirage kind of thing, like weird spacing doubles, high BPM alt stuff. No, it's pretty different this time around. I think people will like it. We'll see that next week or not next week, but later weeks though. Eventually, eventually, that style is not dead. It's just not in the, not in this slot this week. Well, you don't want to see it every. You know, exactly. you don't want to see the same thing every week, obviously. That's one of the goals of this of this tournament, actually, and probably one of the things that you two did a really good job on. Hell All right, yeah. so let's now get into probably the hardest rhythm map of this round, I would say. Um, pretty confidently, actually. Uh, let's get right into it. So Hidden 2, it is going to be a map by Vita2, DJ Amuro AA Rebuild. This This is a map. Beat Mania, 2D. Uh, yeah, I, I think most people should be familiar with at least some version of this song. Um, this, don't worry about it. Uh, you'll get to see what this map is like. It's actually pretty comfortable to play if you just look at it. Like the AR on this, I think is 9.6 or like 9.7 or something. It's very comfortable to aim, but the, the streaming patterns in this are pretty tricky. Like the, there's a lot of different spacing that can catch you off guard. Uh, later on in, in the map, too, you'll start seeing a lot of really tricky aim patterns during the stream. Yep, ah, a lot but, of wonkiness. But actually, it's AR 9.3. Uh, it just looks faster because Bing Bing, high C big CS. So we see, this thing is at CS 3.2, so circles are bigger. Most people tend to perceive bigger circles as faster. Um, so optical illusions at work here. Man, I've also never heard of Vita 2 either. But Wait, this, this is 9.3? Yep. Yep. I literally grinded this map for two hours. I didn't know this. Big <laughs> CS Optical Illusion, I'm telling you. So yeah, it it's streaming. I, guess, I, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. So th these these stream patterns are going to get so many people. Uh, th those are really hard. <laughs> those yeah. Are like by far the hardest part of the map. They're not like... They make perfect sense, you just have to learn them, but it, it's, I guess the fact that it's paired with it in as well, like, this is gonna alienate a couple of people from getting good scores on this map, but yeah. Also very easy to chain this. Hey, I was just gonna say, I never heard of Vita 2, but I but I really like this map. Anyways, go ahead. He is a gamer. That is all That is all there is to say. Is that also Vita's first course ace map? Uh, yeah, so. it's his first course ace map, so. Ah, there we go. Great I don't start. Think, we haven't had a single repeat um, from last year in this pool yet. So there's that. Let's go. All right. So and we're going to continue that streak with the next map. Yeah. Um, another another mapper making their first time appearance in Corsace. It is uh, Jason Time 12345 with uh, the low AR hidden pick 
Nishitamao by Wednesday Campanella. Man, honestly, it's really slow. Man. It's really, really slow. <laughs> this clocks it at 75 BPM, although most of it isn't swinger, so everything is one third. Not everything, but most of it. Man, what a unique yeah. map. So, um, so maybe, uh, maybe you guys, maybe the low AR hidden players in the audience were a little bored last week with, uh, with last map, with the last week's map, because it was pretty much just like your typical, like, focus, like, awkward aim sort of challenge. Nothing too crazy to read. All right, well, have, have, have a density check, uh, and the half, actually. So this is a, uh, this is a low aim focus sort of low AR pick. It has some awkward patterns, stuff that you don't normally see in old maps uh, with some of these uh, streams that kind of like overlap with each other. Um, it has just rhythm changes. It's 75 BPM, so it's like not like the rhythm changes are hard to differentiate, but there is an element of awkwardness here, so. No, so actually, so I completely disagree with that. The fact Ooh. that it is so low BPM makes it really hard to keep up. You know, like the slower a song is, actually the harder it is to perceive what's going on. Um, it's pretty hard to time this. Uh, even like the slow sections, you don't have anything like to match with in the background. Like this part, for example, like there's not much going on in the background for you to actually time stuff. And it's low AR, so you can't do it visually. So there's a lot of uh, like accuracy check on this as well. Yeah, nice I see that. Smoke. There is a reason this is uh, 0.22 stars lower than last week's low AR pick. It, it's just, you know, lower SR equals harder map with the slot. That's just kind of how it goes. Yeah, three well, star hit. We'll see win. how long that lasts, but you nice know. Nice miss. <laughs> uh, these patterns are hard. <laughs> yeah. The one threes into one fours are actually like pretty tricky as well. You can drop a lot of accuracy on those. This map looks, uh, I mean, it, I can say that because that's how I felt about it. Like it looks very innocent. It doesn't look like it's hard at all. I mean, it's like it's not even five stars, but the low AR combination with the fact like how some of the patterns will require you to like change your direction or like there, there's some uh, there's some parts of this that aren't flow aim, and so they can catch you off guard really easily. Yeah, and then try try playing that when you're like nervous and shaking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a death sentence for for all the shakers. Yeah, I think that, by the way, is the lowest star rating map in the tournament, so... Woo! A good one. A good one to have that title, to be honest. <laughs> so okay. that's, all for, uh, that's all for the Hiddens. Let's now move on to the Hard Rocks. Let's get right into Hard Rock 1, a map by Nana Ebe. Uh, give me Metaphor by Star Elements. Ah... Uh... I mean, not not much out of the ordinary here. Um, it's a little bit lower on the lower side when it comes to BPM, though. Especially compared to last week. But you know, yeah, I'd, I'd say generally it's a much different pick than last week's. Um, so last week's uh, we even had like, first of all, we're at CS4. Uh, last week it was at CS 3.8, so there's a slight difference there. And last week had a bit uh, less standard patterns, a lot more heavy on the back and forth, and had some like weirdish slider stuff. This one, um, this one is generally more standard when it comes to the aim, but you'll notice it's a lot more dense in terms of tapping requirements. A lot more triples, a lot more streams. Some of the streams require a little bit of aim as well, like that. Um, there's just kind of like. It's a lot. It's a lot simpler to read than last week's, um, especially being at a more comfortable BPM of 170-ish. But overall, uh, you will your streaming will be a little bit tested here. So, just a bit though. Even so slightly. More anime as as expected, dude. How do you get okay? Knowing, knowing a lot of like doujin and rhythm game music is one thing, but how do you like know so much anime music, especially if it's like idol anime? There's so much music out there. I have no idea how to keep track of it. I, 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 I'm telling you, man, you just don't know the power of the Gal Game Gang, bro. Like, Gal Game Gang, like, like especially Nana Abe, um, he is, uh, he's a big idol fan. So like he's got like probably hard drives full of this stuff, man. Like he just has the, he's got the juice. So, I mean, Ooh. I assume it. I, so, 
the, like us, we're both like familiar with like rhythm game artists and stuff like that because we just yes. play a lot of them. But yes. I mean, the same can be said with a lot of idol stuff. There's so much idol music and like idol content that people apparently consume, like, and and you know, like maybe that's their their field of expertise. You know, like. I guess just think of it. Think think of idol idols stuff like rhythm games. <laughs> yeah, I, idol music is basically rhythm game music. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Cool. All right. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yep. That's good enough. <laughs> Damn, man, you sure know how to shut Legless up. That's so yeah. <laughs> Dude, he just Sorry. lost it, man. He was just out of it. As soon as he said that, like, he just out of it. Gone. Actually, the reason was because I uh, I got called by my parents, but just, it's hey, fine. Hey, I don't hey, have hey, to. No, no, that was the reason. Shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to watch that back because I actually did not hear what he said. Oh, okay, you just pretend you did. <laughs> I'm not repeating it. Okay. But yeah, you got you got jumps. Uh, you have like bursts that have aim. And, uh, what more could you ever want? Hmm. All right. Shoutouts to uh, Wairu. Oh yeah, slight trivia. This uh, this actually was a really recent map. Uh, it replaced a previous map. Um, so there were actually going to be VTubers in this pool, but now it's, there's Idol instead of the VTubers. We can't, so. we can't let that trivia. happen. What? <laughs> this Anyways, is, this is tragic. This it, is was, tragic. It, it was it was it was like, even like a VTuber mega collab. Like there were like five VTubers in one song. Man, like it was kind of <laughs> intense. <laughs> Anyways, I'm pretty sure Camellia <laughs> released another VTuber song yesterday. <laughs> all right, all right. Perfect. Night for grand think... finals. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Hard Rock Two time. Let's get oh. right into it. It's okay, a, this uh, is actually a banger. Holy it's crap! A, it's a three L song. Swing and jive, jiv. Swing and jiv. Like with with. <laughs> I don't speak jive. <laughs> I'm jiving. Ugh. Why are we rocking great accuracy on this map? But yeah, one three map. Toho as well. Epic gamer. Yeah, this is uh, kind of continuing the trend of last week. Um, it's similar. So it's somewhat similar, just because last week we had an aim control hard rock. Uh, this week we have a different kind of aim control hard rock. This time it's just like swing though. So pretty much space double to name the game. Accuracy was likely more likely to throw you off. The main point is it's just. Uh, it's pretty straightforward in terms of like readability. I mean, if you can play swing on hard rock, you're good, right? But obviously, there's a big learning curve to being able to play swing on hard rock. Nothing too tricky to read, though. Um, space doubles, just hit them, uh, and uh, you can tap swing, you're good. Dude. I would say this is uh, probably one of the more like specialist maps in the pool. Like, it's going to be hard for most people to get a good score on this. Like, it's swing, it's slow, it's HR, has some aim control. Like, the people who are able to play that are going to have a field day on this, I think. Yeah, that's true. This is, again, one of the challenge maps of the pool. Dude, I actually really like how clever uh, Wifeware, however you pronounce it, I don't speak Danish, dude, <laughs> uses SV in this map. Like, have you noticed that he actually, like, changes the SV to use the same size sliders for different rhythms? Yeah, I actually nice. didn't uh, notice that, and I've looked over this map I don't know how many times. Oops. <laughs> it's so cool. I actually, I really like that. And honestly, this this song is a banger too. I was like, how do you how do you make nuclear fusion into a swing song? And then I was like, what are these chords? How is this possible? Yeah, it, it's a good track. Oh yeah. Definitely some a banger. Is. So, Wave for, for, by the way, is also um, new to Corsace, eh? so everyone except for uh, LMT and Nanabe have been new to Corsace, eh? so... Oh, really? In this pool. No, 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 no. There's, there's, there's Isamir D'Angelo as well. He wasn't there, there last year, actually. What? Yeah. What about we Mirage? only had 30 mappers last year. <laughs> Mirage wasn't there? Mirage was not there either, no. Now Tamori wasn't there? Nope. No way, dude. What? Wow. Guess there were really few. Well, that's why we have like 
<laughs> we had like Yaspo and the dudes just do like 17 maps. Yeah, like, um, actually, so far, the only returning mappers we have had, um, are LMT and Nana, Nana Bay in these pools, so. Like, That's no one in, be. everyone in round of 64 is new to Corsace as well, so. Damn. Damn. That's pretty always, epic. Uh, it's always cool to get more mappers involved. Uh, yep. It's also nice too because I think uh, whenever you custom map an entire tourney, it's very easy to be like, "Hey, this slot should be exactly this, 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 and that." Like no mod three, you map like real lazy. You emulate real lazy. If you're not real lazy, you become real lazy. So, dude, like, what? It's nice I don't want to. Not the one wants to be French. It's nice oh, for God. players, I think, to be able to experience. Uh, different mapping styles like every round like it, it I, I i don't know i feel like it can get very repetitive if you have the same mappers over and over so like you don't have to worry about like trying to not make things too repetitive yeah that was a concern last year but um anyways i guess we can move on to the next one the hard rock three uh garland saga by silent so this one is uh, this is a featured artist song first and foremost. Uh, there was a it was featured in one of the monthly beat mapping contests. Uh, there were a bunch of like circle only entries because the theme of that one was to make a circle only uh, song. This song was probably the most suitable for that, honestly. Even uh, even our uh, our sponsor Vinxis has a map of this somewhere. So. But anyways, here it is serving the role of a precision pick, uh, mapped by Aiden BH3. Um, and yeah, it's our first CS 6.5 precision pick. Last week was only six star pool, so we stepped it up to proper precision here in round of 32. It's Wait, real did we, good. Did we account for his name change? You uh, should be Kurushin Asuka right now. Oh, okay, whatever. He, it's some BN collab thing. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> I, 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 well, I no don't care. Well, no one's gonna know by that name, so whatever. <laughs> it's oh true. my god, change your name back, Aiden! Okay, anyways. That, that was, like, actually the angriest I've heard happen in a while. Uh, sorry for the noise. <laughs> anyways. But this plays really well. There is no complexity whatsoever in this. It's just pure precision. And it's really fun. Man, Aiden really likes making precision maps. I don't know why, but he's good at it. I also think we might be seeing some SS's on this. It's very, very comfortable to time. Just because it's so, like, there's there's no rhythm, like, variance whatsoever. Very consistent. I'm going to see some cool act plays on this, if they can aim it, I think. Really yeah, cool. this is, uh... Probably the most. This is a lot more straightforward than last week's precision pick. Um, but last week was weirder just because you know it was weirder because uh, it was bigger CS than this. So now that we have a proper CS5 um, pick to put the hard rock on, you know, gotta make it um, comfy for now. Alrighty, so let's move on now to double time with. A mapper we have seen before. That that one I'm sure of. Uh, let's get into DT1 by Uber Faz. Anime. Toho. Oh, is it Toho? Yeah. Yeah, it's Toho. Can, Shinra Bana Show. Classify, it, does it classify as both? Um, so, here's the thing. Shinra Bansho is probably the, like, that's the Toho artist that uh, Toho fans map if they want to map anime, basically, like. In terms of like J, like generic J pop, J rock sort of instrumental, the Sh Shinra Bancho hits that sweet spot as far as Dojin circles. So you know, I, I actually kind of like their music. Like compared to other, like I generally am actually not really a fan of like one uh, circles that only do 100% Toho, but Shinra Bancho is like one of the better ones in my opinion. Yeah, it's good for that like niche. So. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go do something, be right back. Yeah. <laughs> you guys so, think <laughs> as far as this map, um... <laughs> yeah, don't leave us with this! Yeah, 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 it's, it's all good, it's okay, I can talk about this one. So we stepped up the AR on this one compared to later week, uh, or rather, to previous weeks, I think this is at 10.13. 
So just slightly higher than uh, slightly higher than last week's. Um, patterns are a little interesting, and there's a bit of a bit more slow sections, which are probably a little harder to time if you're not comfortable with the super high AR. There is there is some like triple um, to single stuff. There's some quints into singles, so you may have to be somewhat decent at tapping. Um, some of the patterns are just generally less. Uh, they're, they're a lot. They're just generally a little bit harder than last week's. Let's say last week's was like the easiest the DT one could ever get in terms of patterning. This one is not that. And yeah, it's fast. So I mean, what, what more could you want? Like fast DT one? Yeah, sure. It's like 246. Like close, to good enough. Okay, I'm gonna be indefinitely gone from the stream because something popped up. Yeah, uh, sorry guys. Oh, okay, see ya. Well, farewell then. Yep. But yeah, nothing too crazy in this map, right? It's like, I think there might be a, a wide angle or two, but, you know, just, just pay attention. And you should be good. But it looks like the type of map that people want to play for the slot. Yeah. I think it's hard to be disappointed by it. For sure. Um, also worth noting, by the way, is Uberfaz has ranked a uh, this song before. Um, that's why this one is named the Corsair's version. It's a contrast from his ranked set, um, which I believe is a lot weirder than this. So there's that. Fun trivia. All right. Yeah, I mean, clean mapping as always. Yep. I, I literally don't play or test uh, DT maps, so I have nothing else to say. We good? <laughs> DT yeah, it's, it, it's okay. It's okay. Back, I, I'll, I can talk about these. So, okay. yeah, DT2. <laughs> All right, so DT2, a map by Hobbs. Uh, Silver Surfer soundtrack, kind of remix. Yeah, this is a metal cover of uh, Silver Surfer from NES. Uh, this is uh, 230 BPM, and it is generally, it's going to be a lot harder than last week's, right? So last week's was pretty easy just because, you know, it's like it's round of 64, like speed and round of 64, lol. Like, it, that's why it was just 225. This is 230. It's got a couple, like, even bursts, too. So we will see quite a few of those. Um, I think you you hit some like uh, six bursts into like singles or something. Nothing too crazy. Um, if you're, again, if you're comfortable with 230 BPM, you should be able to play this. So it's not terribly hard on the stamina. Um, probably the weirdest part here is you do have some doubles to hit. So some finger controls rolled into this one compared to last week's. But since the stamina requirements are generally low, you shouldn't struggle too much with it. I mean, this is something that I was honestly like, this is something I could play. So, guys, no problem, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, me too, dude. <laughs> you too? All right, let's go. Azer can play it too, guys. Uh huh. I didn't say how well, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not like the music is good. I, I, li I like this, so I, yeah, I, I could play this for that whole region. All right. Yeah, that finger control pattern there at the end is probably the hardest one, by the way. So that one might come for quite a couple plays, but that's it. Other than that, like you got some quints, you got like some 16 note streams, but pretty straightforward. It looks really fun at least. Look, it's always good to play play to a banger, right? Like, especially when you're playing this kind of song, like map, like the song choice matters. Then song choice definitely delivers. Nice. Yep. Yeah, I like that. That's very nice. Yeah. All right. So, um, you wanna you wanna talk about DT three? Uh, I got some stuff for that one. 
that's all. All right, sure thing. Yeah, I'll do the the annoying uh, name that you don't want to pronounce here. Let's get into DT3, a collab <laughs> by Nao Tomori and Nateke Desu. Uh, it is Kudenai Fubuki. All right, so this is a speed map. Um, so this is a 6 BPM increase from last week's speed, ma speed map. Um, and unlike last week's, this one has a lot less aim, but it's just generally in a more unusual style. Um, the, the, contrary to the appearance of those doubles, those are the only doubles in the map, so don't worry about them. They're as simple as they can get to hit. Um, but anyways, 255 BPM, so we have some actual speed here, just like last week's. Um, this one focuses a lot more on having, like, quints and seven bursts into singles, rather than, like, triple, single, single, triple, with some aim requirements. So it's a different way of enforcing speed that's a bit more appropriate, um, and probably a bit more natural as far as those, those of us speed players with no aim. So... If you can hit 255 BPM, then again, you're good to go, right? Like, if you mash 255 BPM, you're gonna break here. Like, patterns are kind of designed, the, the tapping patterns are kind of designed for that. It's a, uh, I, I will say though, it was just like really interesting to see these two collab for this, like Natomori uh, and the Desu, that, those are not, um, those are not the mappers you'd expect to collab with this, like, yeah, on this type of song, Natomori, sure, um, but not in the Tekadesu. But it's because the Tekadesu is in uh, arrow game mapping mode for Corsace. So he has decided he only wanted to map songs with the source material of arrow game. Um, do you have any thoughts on that one, Azer? I'm pretty sure you've got some strong opinions on the matter. No, I don't. Uh, my only comment on this, I just realized we made a grave mistake. The oh, what's that? Speed DT pick is not Toho. Oh, okay. All right. We that is that is that is true. That is a sin. Uh, we will have to rectify that in next week's pool. Thank you, Azer. Um, thank you for the it's feedback. Al it's always Toho. It's always Toho. But to be fair, our DT one was Toho, so we had Toho DT in here. Right? Oh, fair enough. Okay. And we haven't had anime in the double time pool. That's yet. that. Uh, yeah. That, that's that. Uh, innovation we're talking about. We the, moved yeah, the Toho. True. Placed like, it somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. And uh, speaking of anime, uh, we also placed that somewhere else in this double time pool. <laughs> okay. Well, like, uh, I'll, I'll pronounce one this one for you, so. Okay, sure. Yeah. So this is a song many of you have probably heard before. It is Toki wo Kizamu Uta by Lee. Wait, Leah. I know this one. Yes. I mean, it is a clan ad song. I think it's Clan and After After Story, so the second season. Um, yeah, so this is a uh, this is an AR7 CS5 DT mapped by Dada, um, and uh, I think we said we we had a Dada map last round, so he's not new to Corsace in that sense. But yeah, it is a uh, this one's more about um, this one's more of an awkward aim sort of thing because we haven't had a clean awkward aim map in the pool yet, right? So it's like the hidden one. It's got slider aim. The uh, like generally the hard rocks are not really awkward to aim, and obviously the no mode one is pretty standard. So it's like awkward aim's got to go somewhere, and here it is. So hey guys, I'm back. Oh, welcome, welcome back, back. Legless. They took me off of the commentators list. No. Uh, all right, <laughs> there he goes. Oh, he's back. <laughs> he's back. He's back. He's back. <laughs> oh. oh man, that is that is that is awesome. Three. So yeah, um, this is, oh three. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but yeah, um, this is a uh, map Gust would be proud of. Uh, you see lots of uh, wide angle pent like lots of pentagons and such, uh, and just references to other like DT maps that are also slow. I think uh, in particular, there was one that. Um, reference in particular well i looked that up um legless do you have anything yes. to say which uh oh yeah, no oh, okay. i thought you were asking which what the map was no uh i actually this is a really good looking map i don't know why like it just looks good to me maybe because i'm a boomer player but you know it's cool as hell also clan ad xd 
That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, you guys will, uh, if for any of you, uh, like, DT farm players, right? There's a, it, there's going to be, like, a pattern reference to a very popular map for that. Um, that map is, uh, Sakura Anata ni Deate Yokota. Oh. That's an by icon RSP, that is iconic. Mapped, mapped by Dark Ring System. You'll see a part that directly references that. Thank you, Dada, for telling me that. I wouldn't have noticed because I suck at refer finding references. But yeah. Yeah, that map is iconic as hell, dude. Yep. I don't think I know it by name. Ah, oh, it's it's a 240 BPM uh, DT, like really common DT map from back in the day. I think this is like, my top yeah, ranks. That's if, I, if, I, if, I, if I hear it, I'd probably find it, yeah. It's the square part. It's that square yeah. part that comes from there. Like, ah. mm -hmm. yeah, because that map is known for its like single tappy linear jump patterns that are like just really oddly, oddly comfortable to play. Yep. All right. So that's all the DTs wrapped up. Uh, I guess this kind of fills a slot of like old DT a little bit, right? So pretty well yep. balanced, I think. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Except that absolute crime of not having Toho be the speed pick, but it's okay. I'll let it pass. Hey, uh, we just put the Toho somewhere else. It's okay. 246 BPM, dude. That's <laughs> we kind put of the Toho it. somewhere else. We put the anime somewhere else, and we got some video game BGM. Like, oof. All right, let's put the tech somewhere else, too. Let's get into free mod. Uh, it is a map by uh, Nakano Itsuki. Killed you, Sao. Uh, for the record, it's in the HDHR replay here, so... Hey, remember Corsair's closed? Remember when we put this song in Hard Rock? Yeah, no, we're, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> yeah. So, yep, yeah, I didn't, this I didn't is, know uh... how it did soundtrack for Genshin Impact. You guys know that? <laughs> that dude, that would be the best <laughs> thing in the world. I, I don't know, what is it? <laughs> I, I, I don't play Genshin, dude, I don't know. Dude, this this song this song was part of the original like first set of the songs for Waka, which is a rhythm game, of course. And uh, for some reason, it's really popular, like really, really popular. Even in Osu, there's the RLC set. There's also Yoshimaru, and then there's this. Don't know why it's so popular, but it's a banger. It's a banger, map's a banger. This one's got some perfect stacks. Hit replay was done on Hidden Hard Rock, uh, so you have your experience of the perfect stacks with that. But yeah, uh, just watch out for that. They're not too crazy. Um, I mean, it's round 32, so we can't get too crazy anyway. But um, in general, they should be relatively intuitive for those of us more familiar with Hidden. Um, hard Rock, uh, yeah, have fun. Like. Basically, it would be like if we put a dedicated tech pick in Hard Rock, so sort of a thing. So that's what you get there. Yeah. Man, the aesthetics in this map are so clean. Like, actually. <laughs> Not I would really like these, uh, these like high-paced, uh, well-structured uh, picks in uh, in Fremont. I think it's it's always lends itself to really good balance. I think. Like, some people will definitely prefer this with Hidden. Uh, for like most Hidden players, I would say it's pretty free or like very comfortable on Hidden. Like, the base difficulty of the map doesn't seem to be really affected by like either mod, I would say. Like, the, the people who want to play each mod will be able to do so like without any problems, I think. Like, even th that was a hard rock uh, replay, it didn't even look that challenging for a hard rock replay, you know? Yeah, there are some overlaps if you play it with Hidden only, though. But it's AR 9.5, so it's not going to be a huge problem. Yeah, like, it's pretty comfortable. Okay, and moving on now. Uh, moving, moving on now to Free Mod Two. Uh, this is another rhythm game song. Uh, it's a map by Lintz. Hmm. Very low star map for some weird reason. Uh, it it's uh it's there's a lot of rhythm complexity in this. This is the this is the Free Mod rhythm pick. Yep. 1-6 is coming in once again. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie, this pool has quite a bit of 1-3 and 1-6. It's, it's kind of funny. Yeah, I, I think uh, whenever it comes for lower round pools, it mostly ends up that way. 
uh, like True. most of the stuff that you can fit in those pool is just going to be those types of bursts. Like anything more complicated than that may not be that well suited. Yeah, that's fair. That's actually really fair. But yeah, we've seen, we've seen, we've seen like active amounts of one three and like one two three four. Like that is five true. There, there's been a lot of this pool. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Pretty nuts. Yeah, this one's mostly a stream map, though. So aside from one third, all the most of the one thirty is focused in the beginning and like parts like this. So it's there, but there's not really control associated with it. It's just kind of like it's like oh, these are the flowing parts, right? So kind yep. of how it ends up playing. AR nine flat without uh, with with hidden or with no mod as well. Not really a pushover map if you go hidden or no mod even. So. I think this is definitely the map where half the team picks Hard Rock and gets 94%. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be that. Hmm. You think those 1-6s will be that easy for them? <laughs> no, that's where the 94% comes from. Because, <laughs> yeah. like, reading the map is actually, like I said, it's AR9. It's pretty low. There's a lot of spacing that's involved. Like, it can be a little bit dense. So, yeah, it's going to be kind of tricky. Even on Nomad, I definitely think this is, a like, a Hard Rock favored uh, slot. I, I think for for most players. You'll definitely find a player that can do this on, on hidden on in every team though. Nice. Well someone's gotta do it anyways. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Alright. Anything else to say about that one? Nope. That I think that's it. Like it's okay. a banger. Well, I'm going to introduce the last free mod and then go because I've got to go. So let's get right into it. Uh, <laughs> free mod three. Glad I came <laughs> back. Nothing changes. A map by Revo. Uh, it's it's pretty good. It's an A map. Okay, goodbye. Farewell, friends. Have fun. Oh, well, uh, oh okay. Yeah. Anyways, um, well, he's not wrong. It is in fact an A map. So, um, similar to the last, actually, uh, this has actually also been CS creep, kind of like uh, from last week. So this is CS5 Air 8.5. It is an A map, right? Like there is, there's nothing else too crazy about this. Probably even more straightforward than last week's. Um, but the difference is this one is just uh, a bit harder on the raw mechanics. Um, density is a little higher, I believe, too. So yeah, this one, this is Air 8 flat. CS 5.2 used to be like 4.8 and 8.5, but that was. Too oh yeah, easy. yeah. We up, we had to upgrade the diff settings. <laughs> Thank you. Also, uh, Revo is currently Tabby My Rabby instead of Revo. We're unless he changed it back, but you know who cares that, about no, that? No, that's just, that is his current name. Um, yeah, I, no comment. Uh, <laughs> anyways, yeah, this is actually CS 5.2, so it's actually higher than the precision pick. Um, only one person has to put Hard Rock on though, so don't worry. Get a little more precision there. It's still relatively straightforward as a name map. So, how does it feel? How does it feel for this map to be, for this song to be like one of literally the only two songs in the pool? Oh wait, no, one of literally three songs in the pool that have not, that are not Japanese. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Like considering like the typical is all the maps, all, like everything would be Japanese. True. Silver Surfer <laughs> was originally made in Japan, but that's a Western arranged. Actually, electric. I feel. I think Electrocutica is a circle of people, and I think a couple of them are Korean, but I can't be sure. <laughs> but the right. vocals are definitely Japanese. Pup is Canadian, though. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. So that is. Yeah. I. That's pretty interesting, I guess. This. They, also, it is worth no noting that uh, Pup is a featured artist. So, but I think pretty much everyone here knew that. So, dude, Pup makes really good music, though. I can't blame them. I have a physical copy of their first album. Yeah, friggin' nerd. No way. Good stuff. Oh, the song's not over yet. What the oh, heck? Oh yeah, no, it's not over. The, Yo. The, there's like this nice calm part, and then there's some more stuff. I think. I think it gets a bit. Uh, th this is a BPM change section, actually. Like it goes to 164, I believe. Wow, a change of BPM by like literally 10? I can't believe it. Oh wait, no, it slows down. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a slowdown. 
This one, uh, it, this part is a little trickier. Like, there's more variable spacing, but it's slower, so it kind of offsets some of the difficulty. But I don't think that just because it's slowed down, it's easy, right? Like, it's, it's again the rule for life, right? Like, take it slow, guys. Be good to yourselves. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's talk about this tiebreaker, shall we? Oh boy, I haven't played this. It's okay. Someone has. <laughs> Dude, no, All nobody's right. playing. Yeah, so the this tiebreaker is uh, rounding off this round of 32 pool. We have Sequentia by Azriel. Uh, this is map. This is mapped by uh, Decca and Lucent. Um, this is the uh, yeah, it is uh, it's the map, right? Like the high BA. This is your. Uh, this is a pretty standard tiebreaker. Probably actually more standard than last week's. Um, but to compensate, uh, it's on the fast side, so oh, yep. BPM. So some people, for some people, this is speed, but whatever. Um, it's CS 3.8, because uh, if you haven't noticed, there's a bit of there's some CS 4.2 syndrome in the pool. Um, so this kind of offsets <laughs> that. Dude, it's so but, common in tournaments that you're just, you're just like CS 4.2 syndrome. Yup. I mean, it's just like, the, it's a modern trend, right? Like, doing CS 4.2 or 4.3, because um, CS 4 boring, or you just want to make better aesthetics. Maybe I think it might be easier to get um, better aesthetics with the slash circles. That's why they're preferred. Yeah, sure. Real lazy is saying in chat, can we have the diff name lore? Uh, burnt, burnt stuff in microwave collab. Dude, I don't mm. know, man. Like, the, uh, I don't know the lore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna guess that they both burn stuff in microwave, Dyrus style. I guess, dude. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Sounds like something that they would do, though. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Ooh, so, some this one does have a couple of those space squints, so you actually do have to tap them, otherwise, uh, can't just mash through them, um, otherwise you would probably, like, tank accuracy or die. You know, possibly even miss. I mean, but it's 212, it's not that fast. Okay, apparently Deca burnt rice in a microwave and Lucent burnt popcorn in a microwave. Oh! Okay, now that you tell, you say that, I vaguely remember it. Okay. Okay, dude. Wait, Decca, how do you burn rice? What, like, what are you like reheating rice or what? You don't cook rice in a microwave, my dude. My man's yeah, Decca yeah, is, is my my man's Decca is microwave emerald, so you better <laughs> like leave. <laughs> <laughs> that rice looks terrible. What the hell is that? It's like freaking Uncle Ben's rice, dude. What? That looks disgusting. You were trying to run. <laughs> Dude, I mean, it's very important. <laughs> Deco, I, I, as a Chinese person, I am so disappointed in you. You don't cook <laughs> rice in a microwave. <laughs> oh man, there's some memes for that. You are Chinese. Too. Not of a rice cooker? Have you never used a rice cooker in your life? Yeah, I'm Chinese. I can't believe they've done this. Dude. <laughs> I can't believe you could do this to us. Wow, we, we were totally distracted from talking about the map the whole time, although it is probably... I mean, I, there's not much to talk about for this one. Like, uh, there's... Pretty much it's like, it's got like a little bit of pattern aim, like this is not like your typical Nomad 1, it's like a slightly, uh, slightly more varied in that regard. Uh, that stream will kill you, um, but other than that, uh, yeah. Also, Lucent, how do you burn? Okay, to be fair, that makes more sense, you just leave it in there for too long. Okay, dude, like, actually, um... Actually, though, uh, how, how do you burn stuff in a microwave to begin with? Like, you can all, like normally you don't put it in there for longer than you you want to. Like, don't question like you, it. You miss you misclick. Like, come on, guys, you 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 guys can click circles. 
You should be able to click the buttons on a microwave. Oh Although, my like, god, dude, are you are you really microwave shaming the two mappers of this map? Like, <laughs> <laughs> although to be fair, there are these like there are all those like new new microwave models where they use like a wheel. Although that's like spinning, so like if you can spin spinners, then you should be able to uh, set your microwave. Wheel gang. <laughs> Rice. It's... I seriously cannot get over this. I'm sorry, oh. dude. I think the whole point of the wheel microwave is to prevent uh, things like putting in 20 minutes instead of two minutes. Like, because you have you have to spin the wheel way, way, way more to screw it up. Hey, Corsa slider again. The the, the deck is special. Yup. That's how you know. Did you eat it, Deca? Did you eat it? <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> Why did I mind I mean asking this crap? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do you think? No. Dude, it would have been such a Chad method there. Anyways, that's the pool. A uh, couple things that I, I want to say before we I, I toss it back to half and uh, and move on to the next section of the showcase. Um, it will be to the stats, basically. I want to let everyone know that everyone, everyone who is watching and playing in the tournament know that um, if you lost this week, you are not out of the tournament. Um, you are in the lower bracket. So all losers from round of 64 are now pushed into the lower bracket, and you have one more chance before you are out of the tournament. So nobody's out yet. You get to play this pool, which is a very fun pool, by the way. Um, also, one more thing that Omar has let me know is that to search for Corsace maps, uh, do not search Corsace uh, in tags. Please search CO2021. And then as well, the, uh, in the tags, there will also be the round, which is round of 32, RO32. And then the tag, which is, uh, in this case, you know, Nomad123456, hidden HD, HR, FM, DT, and TB. So, yeah, that's how you're going to search them in your own, uh, own beatmap database. And, yep. Yeah. Uh, that's because apparently uh, we are a little bit delayed on the graphics. So Omar just told me to tell you tell you guys that outright. And back to your half. Do you have anything to say? Uh, no, not really. Uh, you know, there's a decent mix of stuff here. You've got uh, if you're a fan of aim and you're a fan of rhythm, uh, there's plenty of that in this pool. If you're looking for some of the weirder stuff, uh, just stay tuned because it's coming. I promise. Um, but uh, other than that, yeah, no, just enjoy pool. Yeah. Anyways, that should be uh, everything that we're down to, we're down to do here. And as you might be able to see on the stream, we're probably going to toss it over to Fiery Rage and possibly Chillier Pair to go over some of the stats from the round of 64 matches. Yep. All right. Um, take it away, Fiery. See you all. <laughs> 